This is really interesting. Of course, this is against the backdrop of, of takeover bids uh, of still hedge fund interest in the business. That's right. It's just surrounded by, by news and probes and, and, and suitors, isn't it, Cran? As you said this morning, uh, Cran said that Austrac, which is the financial crimes regulator in Australia, has identified potential serious non-compliance in, in Perth and in regards to anti-money laundering and, and counter-terrorism financing. Uh, it's not clear what any breach or potential breach might be in Perth, but we do know, of, of course, in October, uh, a similar investigation was uh, launched into Crown Melbourne, which is Crown's flagship casino, and that Austrac investigation relate, r related to concerns about customer due diligence, particularly customers that w had been identified as, as high-risk or, or politically exposed persons um, in, in the past. It's not clear if that Perth investigation is, is, is along similar lines. But the, the backdrop, as you said, Heidi, is, is Cran is, is really surrounded by, if it's not Austrac investigations, it's uh, Royal Commissions, which are mm. independent investigations, into Crown Melbourne and Crown Perth, and, and those go to those casinos' suitability to, to operate at all as casinos. So it's, it's more regulatory pressure onto a company that just right. doesn't need any more. So, at this point, Angus, any idea on how it could affect that star merger bid? It, it, it's not. And it, it, at this stage, it, this Austrac probe, although it does in, indeed pile pressure onto Crone, it, it looks like a, a wider industry push by Austrac as well, because Star Entertainment has also just announced that it's being um, investigated uh, for potential serious non-compliance in Star Sydney, which which is its main casino, that also relates to customer due diligence and these again high risk or, or political uh, customers uh, in in years in, in recent years dating back to 2015. So it, it suggests if you if you take all the evidence, Crown Star uh, and also Sky City in Adelaide in Adelaide that there's a broader crack down, if you like, by Austrac to, to stamp out any any loopholes that might have been exposed in these investigations into Crown we saw last year that ultimately right. led to, to Crown being ordered to, to, to shut down its, its Sydney operations, or not even open them. Uh, I should say they hadn't started yet. So mm. it's not clear where this leaves Crown in terms of Star's offer, uh, but of course um, it, that's still on the table. We don't yet know um, how, how Crown regards that merger proposal.